one a very simple strategy and see how we can optimize it. And this time we're not only going to use a trailing stop, we're going to try to use um, profit, we're going to try to use loss, um, and um, we're going to use trailing stop all within the same strategy. Um, so let's go ahead and um, get straight into it. Let's go now with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's trending at the moment. And um, let's do a very simple strategy. Let's go, okay, if um, let's say three by one, uh, three by one hour bar, there we are, uh, of BTC. Oh, uh, let's, sorry, let's, uh, let's see. if three by one hour bar close rather of BTC USD is below BTC USD. Uh, let's use, let's just use an MA here. Moving average, um, let's say 20 by one hour close, uh, then buy a thousand USD worth of BTC. Oh no, we don't wanna buy a thousand BTC USD. We wanna buy a thousand USD uh, worth of BTC USD. So perfect. So this is a very simple strategy. All we're saying is that if three one hour bars, obviously in a row, um, are, are below the um, MA 20 by one hour of uh, Bitcoin, then um, let's uh, get into the market. And we're going to start this off. Uh, we're going to close this position again. Um, let's, instead of using one condition, we'll use two. So let's say, okay, close position at profit of 2% or loss is 2%. Very simple. And let's see what comes out of here. Let's see if we can actually better it. And remember, we're going to click next and let's backtest this. Uh, name your strategies if you uh, feel you have to. Um, I know personally I'm running so many back tests that naming it becomes a little bit of an issue for me. I just want to run them. And while this is running, let's create it. Remember, we are we have an issue with latency, but you know, take advantage of it. You don't have to sit on this page while it runs. Let's run some more strategies. Let's take this exact strategy and let's clone it. And we're going to keep the um, uh, the entry as is, and let's just change this around. So let's say, okay, let's go at a profit of six percent, six percent, okay. And then let's say, well, let's keep the loss at two percent as well. Let's see if we can get a better result if we just take it a higher profit and we keep the loss at the same. And again, while this is back testing, uh, traders keep um, keep the strategies going. So by the time all the back testing finishes, you have a lot of data to look at, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a lot of data. Um, so then we're going to go and remember, we're going to clone it. Um, I don't rerun. I don't edit my back test because if you rerun and you edit your back test, you're actually going to lose those original back tests, and you don't want to do that. So anytime you want. Even if you want to rerun a back test, just clone it and you know run it again. Um, and this time, let's go. Okay, let's do something like this. Let's go. Okay, at a profit of, um, let's say eight percent, or trailing stop, uh, or trailing stop of five percent. And traders, feel free to put as many conditions as you want. Uh, be careful not to overfit it. And if you're overfitting your strategies, you'll see that in the results. You'll see the results are not coming back as you want them. And then, you know, start to adjust uh, your overfitment. So here we've tried three different um, exit strategies, um, one with the same profit and loss. Um, and now I'm going to go, remember, to the left-hand menu bar. You can navigate anywhere and everywhere on Capitalize, and we're going to hit My Strategies, and um, we'll go back to test. Let's see how these are playing out. So remember, these are the exact entries. The only thing that we're looking to optimize, that we're looking to tweak, is the exit. Um, and generally, if you're looking to optimize a strategy, you want to find either the entry that's working or the exit that's working, and then work on the other. 
Um, for me, I personally like to work on the exit of the strategy. Um, mostly my entries um, are, you know, are what I want to play out and I've just got to find how the exit um, plays out as well. And what we're looking for is to try get better results every time. Um, so, you know, when we're closing at a profit of 2% and a loss of 2%, I'm hoping to get a better result at profit of 6% or loss of 2%. And from here, I'm hoping to get a better result with closed position at a profit of 8% or a trailing stop of 5%. So here you can see this is already completed. We had fewer hits, which makes sense. The trades are running longer. We're not closing them so quickly. Um, here we got 81 hits. We're at 60.15%. Um, um, and let's see what these come out as. Okay, here we are. So this is completed as well. This is the profit of 6% or loss of 2%. Uh, here we have 125 hits at 50.93%. And here the profit 2% or losses 2%, uh, it's still running at the moment. So let's see what we come out with. Um, if I'm looking at this correctly, um, I feel like this should go in order. As in, this should be probably the best performing. This will be the second, which would probably be the third. Um, and that's not saying you should definitely go this or you should definitely go this. It it's all depends what suits your psychology and, um, you know, how you want to trade. And remember, you want quite a decent sample size um, for your strategy. You want at least between, at a minimum, um, you know, of 50 to 100 hits um, to actually see the performance um, of the strategy. We're still running on this one. Um, so let's just give it a moment uh, just to see it go through. Remember, if we're having so many hits, it's obviously going to take a little bit longer um, to process. Um, let's see if I can um, get through some questions here. Okay, John, um, good question. Um, okay, traders, um, this is a frequently requested feature. Uh, John, thanks for this question. Awesome question, yeah. Can you run a single strategy over a group of stocks? At the moment, unfortunately not, okay? We know traders want this and we're already working on development of this. So soon you're gonna be able to take a strategy like this and say, okay, I trade Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ripple, or whatever the case is, you're gonna be able to group them into group A and then you're gonna be able to run a single strategy at the click of a mouse through the group. However, at the moment you can't, John, and the best way to do it is as I've been showing you to clone it. And I'm gonna show you how in the next strategy, we're gonna run a strategy through a group of stocks. Um, awesome question, thanks, John. Okay, great, so this is completed here. You see here we have 305 hits. This is a profit of 2%, loss of 2%, pretty decent total p &L. Um, And this all depends. This is you traders can choose what suits your style, what suits your psychology of trading um, with depending on how you want to exit, what risk you're willing to take. Um, and so a great way for you to test strategies.